threat rattles nerves at a Colorado Springs charter school. A Facebook post by a student drew major concerns from parents at SEVA Charter School. That's near I-25 and Garden of the Gods. Some of those parents tonight say they are not happy with the school's response. KRDO News Channel 13's Greg Miller getting answers for your safety. And James, it all has to do with the timing of the response. This is one of several threats that the student posted on Facebook. It is a picture inside a gun store saying he's shopping for his killing spree. SIVA went into a heightened lockdown, meaning no visitors and no students could enter or leave the building during the day. But a parent wishes she knew what was happening a lot sooner. When Tracy Dufton dropped her child off at SEVA Charter School, she didn't know another student was making threats online. I got a call about two um, from a friend that has a child that goes to SEVA saying that I needed to go get my daughter. But then she saw those threats. Panic. Sheer panic. I mean, I, I was shaking. Killing, killing, killing. I love killing. Who should I kill? Any volunteers? Another post read, I'm a dangerous psychopath, out with an unquenched bloodlust. The student even made a threat against the president. Dufton didn't find out, out about the threat until this afternoon, but school leaders tell us they knew about it as early as Sunday morning. She's not happy, saying she didn't even get a phone call until tonight. We should have got that call first thing in the morning. Administrators responded saying there was no threat to students when they came to school here at SIVA. The seriousness of the concern was not fully there yesterday. So when we entered school this morning, there was not the level of concern that we currently have. But at least one parent. If there was a threat at all in general, I think that there should have been something that went out to the parents to let us know. Says more needs to be done. Now, SEVA administrators cited school law and state law saying they could not say whether uh, the student was suspended. They would tell us that student behind the posts would not be returning to school for the foreseeable future. The schools and classes will resume as normal tomorrow. In studio tonight, Greg Miller, KRDO News Channel 13.